to show you few acne lesions in a patient of mine. So here over the face you can see face is the most common site and here you can see these small raised areas. These are comedons. Now why comedons are formed? Comedons are due to obliteration of the duct of sebaceous gland because acne is a disorder of pilosebaceous unit. So what happens that if there is intact epithelial lining over these comedons, we call them white comedons. And if there is disruption of epithelial lining, we call them black comedons because due to oxidation, the opening appears black in color also commonly known as blackheads or whiteheads. But as the lesion increases, sometimes you might get papules, pustules or nodules. Papules, what are papules? Papules are solid raised lesions which are less than 0.5 centimeter in size. Like you can see here, this lesion here is a papule. Why it is a papule? Because it is solid, it is raised and it is very small, less than 0.5 centimeter in size. So these are the comedons or the papules of acne. But as this condition aggravates, what happens? Larger lesions start developing in the form of nodules or cyst. And once large nodules that is more than 0.5 centimeter in size lesions are seen or cystic swellings are seen, then we label it as grade 4 or severe acne that is nodulocystic acne. And one important question which is generally asked in the exams is that what is the drug of choice for nodulocystic acne and the answer to this question is oral isotretinoin. So oral isotretinoin is the drug of choice for severe grade 4 or nodulocystic acne. But initial grades can be treated with topical agents also like here in my patient she is having comedons and papules. So this is grade 1 where comedons are seen or grade 2 where mainly papules are seen. So in these grades what we do we give topical treatment in the form of topical retinoids. Thank <sighs> you.